The Channel Islands are an archipelago of British Crown dependencies in the English Channel, off the French coast of Normandy. They include two separate bailiwicks, the Bailiwick of Jersey and the Bailiwick of Guernsey. They are considered the remnants of the Duchy of Normandy, and are not part of the United Kingdom. They have a total population of about 168,000 and their respective capitals, St. Peter Port and St. Helia, have populations of 16,488 and 33,500, respectively. The total area of the islands is 194 km2. Both bailiwicks have been administered separately since the late 13th century. Each has its own independent laws, elections, and representative bodies. Any institution common to both is the exception rather than the rule. Geography The permanently inhabited islands of the Channel Islands are, Jersey, Guernsey, Alderney, Sark, Herm, Jetho, Brecca, all of these except Jersey are in the bailiwick of Guernsey. There are also several uninhabited islets. Four are part of the bailiwick of Jersey, the Minquiers, a Permil Cra copyright house, Les Dirouis, Les Pierres de Lec, these lie off Alderney, Burrow, Caskets, Ortac, Renonquit, these lie off Guernsey, Crevican, Gran Amfroc, Les Hermits, Leho. See also list of islands of the bailiwick of Guernsey. In general, the larger islands have the I suffix, and the smaller ones have the Hu suffix. These are believed to be from the Old Norse I and HOLMR, respectively, which means island and islet. The Shousey Islands south of Jersey are not generally included in the geographical definition of the Channel Islands but are occasionally described in English as French Channel Islands in view of their French jurisdiction. They were historically linked to the Duchy of Normandy, but they are part of the French territory along with continental Normandy, and not part of the British Isles or of the Channel Islands in a political sense. They are an incorporated part of the Commune of Granville. While they are popular with visitors from France, Channel Islanders rarely visit them as there are no direct transport links from the other islands. In official Jersey French, the islands are called Allais de la Manche, while in France, the term Allais Anglo Normands is used to refer to the British Channel Islands in contrast to other islands in the Channel. Chausey is referred to as an Ala Normand. Allais Normands and Archipel Normand have also, historically, been used in Channel Island French to refer to the islands as a whole. The very large tidal variation provides an environmentally rich intertidal zone around the islands, and some islands such as Burrow, the A. Permil Cra copyright house, and the Minquias have been designated Ramsar sites. The waters around the islands include the following, the Swinge, the Little Swinge, La Da copyright route, La Raz Blanchard, or Race of Alderney, the Great Russell, the Little Russell, Sour Shihawe, La Gouliot, La Perca copyright E. The highest point in the islands is Les Platons and Jersey at 143 metres above sea level. The lowest point is the Atlantic Ocean. History Prehistory The earliest evidence of human occupation of the Channel Islands has been dated to 250,000 years ago when they were attached to the land mass of continental Europe. The islands became detached by rising sea levels in the Neolithic period. The numerous dolmens and other archaeological sites extant and recorded in history demonstrate the existence of a population large enough and organized enough to undertake constructions of considerable size and sophistication, such as the burial mound at La Hugby in Jersey or the statue Menhirs of Guernsey. From the Iron Age, hordes of Armorican coins have been excavated, providing evidence of trade and contact in the Iron Age period. Evidence for Roman settlement is sparse although evidently the islands were visited by Roman officials and traders. The traditional Latin names of the islands derive from the Antony Knight Inerary. Gallo-Roman culture was adopted to an unknown extent in the islands. In the 6th century Christian missionaries visited the islands. Samson of Dol, Helia, Mark Ulf and Magla are among saints associated with the islands. Although originally included within the Diocese of Dol, in the 6th century the islands were transferred to the Diocese of Coutances, perhaps under the influence of Pratek Status. From the beginning of the 9th century Norse raiders appeared on the coasts. Norse settlement succeeded initial attacks, and it is from this period that many place names of Norse origin appear, including the modern names of the islands. 
from the Duchy of Normandy, the islands were annexed to the Duchy of Normandy in 933. In 1066, William II of Normandy, invaded and conquered England, becoming William I of England, also known as William the Conqueror. In the period 1204 Euro 1214, King John lost the Orngevin lands in northern France, including mainland Normandy, to King Philip II of France. In 1259 his successor, Henry III, officially surrendered his claim and title to the Duchy of Normandy, while retaining the Channel Islands. Since then, the Channel Islands have been governed as possessions of the Crown separate from the Kingdom of England and its successor kingdoms of Great Britain and the United Kingdom. The islands were invaded by the French in 1338, who held some territory until 1345. Arwain Lorgach, a mercenary leader of a free company in the service of the French Crown, attacked Jersey and Guernsey in 1372, and in 1373 Bertrand du Guesclin besieged Montorgueil. Jersey was occupied by the French in the Wars of the Roses from 1461 to 1468. In 1483 a papal bull decreed that the islands would be neutral during time of war. This privilege of neutrality enabled islanders to trade with both France and England and was respected until 1689 when it was abolished by order in council following the Glorious Revolution in Great Britain. Various attempts to transfer the islands from the Diocese of Coutances, Salisbury, and Winchester, had little effect until an order in Council of 1569 brought the islands formally into the Diocese of Winchester. Control by the Bishop of Winchester was ineffectual as the islands had turned overwhelmingly Calvinist and the episcopacy was not restored until 1620 in Jersey and 1663 in Guernsey. Sark in the 16th century was uninhabited until colonized from Jersey in the 1560s. The grant of seigneurship from Elizabeth I of England forms the basis of Sark's constitution today. Over a dozen windmills are known to have existed in the Channel Isles. They were mostly tower mills used for grinding corn. From the 17th century, during the Wars of the Three Kingdoms, Jersey held out strongly for the royalist cause, providing refuge for Charles, Prince of Wales in 1646 and 1649 a Euro 1650 while the more strongly Presbyterian Guernsey more generally favoured the parliamentary cause. The islands acquired commercial and political interests in the North American colonies. Islanders became involved with the Newfoundland fisheries in the 17th century. In recognition for all the help given to him during his exile in Jersey in the 1640s, Charles II gave George Carteret, bailiff and governor, a large grant of land in the American colonies, which he promptly named New Jersey now part of the United States of America. Sir Edmund Andros of Guernsey was an early colonial governor in North America, and head of the short-lived Dominion of New England. In the 19th century, wealthy French copyright migra copyrightess fleeing the revolution sought residency in the islands. Many of the town domiciles existing today were built in that time. In St. Peter Port, a large part of the harbour had been built by 1865 20th century. World War II. The islands were the only part of the British Commonwealth to be occupied by the German army during World War II. The British government demilitarized the islands in June 1940 and the lieutenant governors were withdrawn on June 21, leaving the insular administrations to continue government as best they could under impending military occupation. Before German troops landed, between June 30 and July 4, 1940, evacuation took place. 6,600 out of 50,000 left Jersey while 17,000 out of 42,000 left Guernsey. Thousands of children were evacuated with their schools to England and Scotland. The population of Sark largely remained where they were. But in Alderney, the entire population, save for six persons, left. In Alderney, the occupying Germans built four concentration camps in which over 700 people out of a total prisoner population of about 6,000 died. Due to the destruction of documents, it is impossible to state how many forced workers died in the other islands. These were the only Nazi concentration camps on British soil. The Royal Navy blockaded the islands from time to time, particularly following the invasion of Normandy in June 1944. There was considerable hunger and privation during the five years of German occupation, 
particularly in the final months when the population was close to starvation. Intense negotiations resulted in some humanitarian aid being sent via the Red Cross, leading to the arrival of the Red Cross supply ship Vega in December 1944. The German occupation of 1940 Euro 45 was harsh, over 2,000 islanders were deported by the Germans, and Jews were sent to concentration camps. British bobbies assisted the Nazi occupiers in rounding up the Jewish population. Partisan resistance and retribution, accusations of collaboration, and slave labor also occurred. Many Spaniards, initially refugees from the Spanish Civil War, were brought to the islands to build fortifications. Later, Russians and Eastern Europeans continued the work. Many landmines were laid with 65,718 landmines laid in Jersey alone. There was no resistance movement in the Channel Islands on the scale of that in mainland France. This has been ascribed to a range of factors including the physical separation of the islands, the density of troops, the small size of the islands precluding any hiding places for resistance groups, and the absence of the Gestapo from the occupying forces. Moreover, much of the population of military age had joined the British Army already. The end of the occupation came after VE Day on May 8, 1945, Jersey and Guernsey being liberated on May 9. The German garrison in Alderney did not surrender until May 16, and it was one of the last of the Nazi German remnants to surrender. The first evacuees returned on the first sailing from Great Britain on June 23. But the people of Alderney were unable to start returning until December 1945. Many of the evacuees who returned home had difficulty reconnecting with their families after five years of separation. Post 1945, following the liberation of 1945, reconstruction led to a transformation of the economies of the islands, attracting immigration and developing tourism. The legislatures were reformed and non party governments embarked on social programs aided by the incomes from offshore finance, which grew rapidly from the 1960s. The islands decided not to join the European Economic Community when the UK joined, and remain outside. Since the 1990s declining profitability of agriculture and tourism have challenged the governments of the islands. Politics The Channel Islands fall into two separate self-governing bailiwicks, the Bailiwick of Guernsey and the Bailiwick of Jersey. Both are British Crown dependencies, and neither is part of the United Kingdom. They have been part of the Duchy of Normandy since the 10th century and Queen Elizabeth II is often referred to by her traditional and conventional title of Duke of Normandy. However, pursuant to the Treaty of Paris, she governs in her right as the Queen, and not as the Duke. This notwithstanding, it is a matter of local pride for monarchists to treat the situation otherwise. The loyal toast at formal dinners is to the Queen, our Duke, rather than to Her Majesty, the Queen is in the UK. A bailiwick is a territory administered by a bailiff. Although the words derive from a common root there is a vast difference between the meaning of the word bailiff and bailiff. The bailiff in each bailiwick is the civil head, presiding officer of the states, and also head of the judiciary. In the early part of the 21st century, the existence of governmental offices such as the bailiffs which incorporate multiple roles straddling the different branches of government came under increased scrutiny for their apparent contravention of the doctrine of separation of powers a euro most notably in the Guernsey case of McGonnell v United Kingdom 30 EHR 289 which following final judgment at the European Court of Human Rights became part of the impetus for much recent constitutional change particularly the Constitutional Reform Act 2005 and the UK itself, including the separation of the roles of the Lord Chancellor, the abolition of the House of Lords judicial role, and its replacement by the UK Supreme Court. The island's bailiffs however, still retain their historic roles. The systems of government in the islands date from Norman times, which accounts for the names of the legislatures, the states, derived from the Norman Apermel Tats or Estates. The states have evolved over the centuries into democratic parliaments. Each island has its own primary legislature, known as the states of Guernsey and the states of Jersey, with chief pleas in Sark and the states of Alderney, the Channel Islands are not represented in the UK Parliament. Laws passed by the states are given royal assent by the Queen in Council, 
to whom the island's governments are responsible. The islands are not part of the European Union, but are part of the customs territory of the European Community by virtue of Protocol 3 to the Treaty on European Union. In September 2010, a Channel Islands Brussels office was set up jointly by the two bailiwicks to develop the Channel Islands influence with the EU, to advise the Channel Islands governments on European matters, and to promote economic links with the EU. Both bailiwicks are members of the British Irish Council, and JARA RIAIS and GERNA copyrights are recognised regional languages of the Isles. The legal courts are separate. Separate courts of appeal have been in place since 1961. Among the legal heritage from Norman law is the clamour de Haro. Islanders are full British citizens, and therefore European citizens. Any British citizen who applies for a passport in Jersey or Guernsey receives a passport bearing the words British Islands, Bailiwick of Jersey, or British Islands, Bailiwick of Guernsey. Under the provisions of Protocol 3, Channel Islanders who do not have a close connection with the UK do not automatically benefit from the EU provisions on free movement within the EU and their passports receive an endorsement to that effect. This affects only a minority of islanders. Under the UK Interpretation Act 1978, the Channel Islands are deemed to be part of the British Islands, not to be confused with the British Isles. For the purposes of the British Nationality Act 1981, the A Euro OE British Islands A Euro include the United Kingdom, the Channel Islands and the Isle of Man, taken together, unless the context otherwise requires. Economy Tourism is the major industry in the smaller islands. However Jersey and Guernsey have, since the 1960s, become major offshore financial centres and tax havens on the scale of the Cayman Islands or Bermuda. Guernsey's horticultural and greenhouse activities have been more significant than in Jersey, and Guernsey has maintained light industry as a higher proportion of its economy than Jersey. Jersey's economy since the 1980s has been substantially more reliant on finance. Both islands are now heavily dependent on the finance industry, this along with a high cost of living has resulted in a general widening between the rich and poor. Both bailiwicks issue their own banknotes and coins, which circulate freely in all the islands alongside UK coinage and Bank of England and Scottish banknotes. There are many exports, largely consisting of crafted goods and farmed produce. Transport and Communications, Post Since 1969, Jersey and Guernsey have operated postal administrations independently of the UK's Royal Mail, with their own postage stamps, which can be used for postage only in their respective bailiwicks. UK stamps are no longer valid, but mail to the islands, and to the Isle of Man, is charged at UK inland rates. It was not until the early 1990s that the islands joined the UK's postcode system, Jersey Post Codes using the initials JE and Guernsey GY. Transport Road Each of the three largest islands has a distinct vehicle registration scheme, Guernsey a number of up to five digits. Jersey J followed by up to six digits. Alderney, I followed by up to five digits. In Sark, where most motor traffic is prohibited, the few vehicles a euro nearly all tractors a euro do not display plates. Bicycles display tax discs. C. In the 1960s, names used for the cross-channel ferries plying the mail route between the islands and Weymouth, Dorset, were taken from the popular Latin names for the islands. Caesarea, Sarnia and Reduna. Fifty years later, the ferry route between the Channel Islands and the UK is operated by Condor ferries from both St. Helia, Jersey and St. Peter Port, Guernsey, using high-speed catamaran fast craft to Weymouth and Poole in the UK. A regular passenger ferry service on the Commodore Clipper goes from both Channel Island ports to Portsmouth daily, and carries both passengers and freight. Ferry services to Normandy are operated by Manchalet Express, and services between Jersey and St. Malo are operated by Compagnie Corsa and Condor Ferries. The Isle of Sark Shipping Company operates small ferries to Sark. On August 20, 2013, Huelin Renouf, which had operated a lift on lift off container service for 80 years between the port of Southampton and the port of Jersey, ceased trading. Senator Alan McLean, 
a Jersey politician has previously tried to save the 90-odd jobs furnished by the company to no avail. On September 20, it was announced that Channel Island Lines would continue this service, and would purchase the MV Hewellyn dispatch from associated British ports who in turn had purchased them from the receiver in the bankruptcy. The new operator was to be funded by Rockane Limited, a closely held association of Jersey business people. Air, there are three airports in the Channel Islands. Alderney Airport, Guernsey Airport and Jersey Airport, which are directly connected to each other by services operated by Blue Islands and Aurigny. Rail, historically there have been railway networks on Jersey, Guernsey, and Alderney, but all of the lines on Jersey and Guernsey have been closed and dismantled. Today there are three working railways in the Channel Islands, of which the Alderney Railway is the only one providing a regular timetabled passenger service. The other two are a 7A1 a 4 engage miniature railway, also on Alderney, and the Heritage Steam Railway operated on Jersey as part of the Pilot Heritage Steam Museum. Media, regional television and radio broadcasts are available in the islands. These services are provided by BBC Radio Jersey, BBC Radio Guernsey, BBC Channel Islands, ITV Channel Television, Island FM, and Channel 103. Television programs are broadcast from the Fra Copyright Montpoint transmitting station. There are some local newspapers including the Guernsey Press and the Jersey Evening Post. Telephone Jersey always operated its own telephone services independently of Britain's national system, but Guernsey did not establish its own telephone services until 1969. Both islands still form part of the British Telephone Numbering Plan, but Ofcom on the main lines does not have responsibility for telecommunications regulatory and licensing issues on the islands. It is responsible for wireless telegraphy licensing throughout the islands, and by agreement, for broadcasting regulation in the two large islands only. Internet, modern broadband speeds are available in all the islands, including VDSL for home and business. Providers include Shua and JT. The two bailiwicks each have their own internet domain GG and JE which are managed by channelisles.net. Culture The Norman language predominated in the islands until the 19th century, when increasing influence from English-speaking settlers and easier transport links led to Anglicization. There are four main dialects languages of Norman in the islands, or Ignace, DGARNA copyright CA, JARRIAIS and Circuie. Victor Hugo spent many years in exile, first in Jersey and then in Guernsey, where he finished Les Mises copyright rables. Guernsey is the setting of Hugo's later novel, Les Travailleurs de la Mer. A Guernsey man also makes an appearance in Chapter 91 of Herman Melville's Moby Dick. The annual Murati, the inter island football match, is considered the sporting event of the year, although, due to broadcast coverage, it no longer attracts the crowds of spectators, traveling between the islands, that it did during the 20th century. Cricket is popular in the Channel Islands. The Jersey cricket team and the Guernsey cricket team are both associate members of the International Cricket Council. The teams have played each other in the Interinsular match since 1957. In 2001 and 2002, the Channel Islands entered a team into the MCCA Knockout Trophy, the one-day tournament of the minor counties of English and Welsh cricket. Channel Island sportsmen and women compete in the Commonwealth Games for their respective islands and the islands have also been enthusiastic supporters of the island games. Shooting is a popular sport in which Islanders have won Commonwealth medals. Guernsey's traditional colour for sporting and other purposes is green and Jersey's is red. The main Islanders have traditional animal nicknames, Guernsey Leia St. Nez, the steepness of St. Peter Port Streets required beasts of burden, but Guernsey people also claim it as a symbol of their strength of character a la Euro, which Jersey people traditionally interpret as stubbornness. Jersey, Les Crayports Jersey has toads and snakes, which Guernsey lacks. Sark, Les Corbins, crows could be seen from the sea on the island's coast. Alderney, Les Lapins, the island is noted for its warrens. Faith and religious history, Christianity was brought to the islands around the 6th century. According to tradition, Jersey was evangelized by Saint Helia, 
Guernsey by Saint Sampson of Dole, and the smaller islands were occupied at various times by monastic communities representing strands of Celtic Christianity. At the Reformation, the islands turned Calvinist under the influence of an influx of French language pamphlets published in Geneva. Anglicanism was imposed in the 17th century, but the nonconformist tendency re emerged with a strong adoption of Methodism. The presence of long term Catholic communities from France and seasonal workers from Brittany and Normandy added to the mix of denominations. In late 20th century, a strong Roman Catholic presence re emerged with the many Portuguese workers coming to live in the islands, then more recently, Polish Roman Catholics and other Eastern Europe worshippers. Services in a number of languages can be found along with many new more evangelical churches. Other islands in the English Channel, there are other islands in the English Channel which are not part of the Channel Islands. Among these are the French islands Bra Copyright Hat, Ale de Bats, Chauzy, Tauchel and Ale Saint Marouf, and the Isle of Wight which is part of England. See also Channel Islands Occupation, List of Ramsar Sites in the Channel Islands References Bibliography, Encyclopaedia Britannica Vol. 5, Encyclopaedia Britannica, Inc., Chicago A Euro London A Euro Toronto, External Links, States of Alderney, States of Guernsey, States of Jersey, Government of Sark, Family Tree DNA Channel Islands Project, Widener Project for the Channels Islands.